What up YouTube, it's Frisky Dingo here, getting back with you guys with another reaction slash review video. Always remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this video uh, because we are on a grind. Uh, that being said, today's video is a reaction to the 2021 uh, Video Games Awards. And what can I say? I was really excited for it. The fact that we end up getting a Halo uh, Star Wars Eclipse trailer. I thought that was extremely well put together. Uh, Star Wars trailers with the Lucasfilm always look extremely polished and very well animated. So very happy on that one. You know, we're going to get a little bit more, but we got to just, you know, hold out just a little bit um, for that new game. So, you know, hopefully we get some from, from, from our favorite developers at LucasArts who've been developing since before I was even born. Uh, that being said, the trailer looked extremely well. It looks like it's between either the Mandalorian series and the current trilogy, or it's bef it's between the trilogy, the original trilogy, and the prequel trilogy. We don't really know, but we're going to find out. Uh, so hopefully if we get any more news about that. I could definitely update you guys. Um, but moving on to the next one for me was the Sonic Frontier slash Sonic 2 uh, movie reveal. Sonic Frontier taking back that aspect of the old Sonic during the Wii era that we all really loved. A lot of people don't understand is that Sonic 1, 2, 3 and um, Sonic CD were loved. But also the Wii versions of Sonic were also as loved too. A lot of people have this misunderstanding, thinking that uh, anything after Sonic uh, Sonic 06 was not good, or et cetera, et cetera, and that is not the case. There have been a lot of good Sonic games, such as Sonic Black Knight, which ironically is uh, taking the environmental course when it comes to this current Sonic game. Um, if you look at the new Sonic Frontier game, it takes a lot of that aspect uh, with the realism of the environment, but also... Um, the the style of environment that engulfs when it comes to sonic now a lot of big reasons why sonic unleash and sonic boom and um all these other sonic games really failed was that it tried to not really expand on the sonic universe but kind of create something new which was very unfamiliar to a lot of sonic fans now if you're talking to the average sonic fan most sonic fans have no recollection at all of anything outside the first three games so realistically if you're a sonic fan and you're trying to enjoy a sonic game and then someone brings sonic, like sonic boom to you you're not going to really know what that is why because that's an entire different um um, era and feeling of Sonic. Uh, that's why Sonic Mania was extremely popular because of that exact reason. Um, getting back to the roots. Now I believe that with Sonic Mania, like I told a lot of people, I don't believe Sonic Mania was something that Sega wanted to build upon. To me, Sonic Mania was something that the, the Sega wanted to give back to the fans so that, you know, it doesn't seem like they're just leaving the 2D format of Sonic in, in the dust. So that was a gift. Now they're trying to move over. Because realistically, we've said this before. Mario went 3D almost 25 years ago. If, if, you, if you will, 25 years ago. So if Mario went 3D 25 years ago, why haven't we had a proper 3D Sonic game? And I understand that Son Sega is taking this seriously. And they're trying to rebrand the Sonic. Uh, that being said, if you see the Sonic in the Battle in the Frontiers uh, trailer, he looks more identical to the original Sonic from the GameCube era. So we're gonna probably get a little bit less of a chattery Sonic. We're gonna get more of a more confident one. That's the one we're really gonna be end up and end up getting. Kind of the Sonic from Riders, um, quiet, stoic, but still with the quips. Then the movie was extremely good. We got to, you know, finally see what everyone's been saying on the internet about Idris Elba playing Knuckles. We got to see the Chaos Emerald. We also got to see Jim Carrey again um, as Dr. Eggman and also him escaping. And then also information with Tails, uh, you know, coming into the movie. So I thought that was extremely well put together. If anyone knows me, knows I'm a big, big Miles fan. Um, so that being said, seeing Miles in the game, um, in the movie, made me happy. Moving forward, we also got, um, if I remember co correctly, uh, we end up getting another Hellblade. Uh, well, not another Hellblade, but basically they're redoing, remaking Hellblade for PlayStation 4 and then putting it on PlayStation 5. I thought that was a failure. No bueno. The most exciting news, uh, everything for me, was, of course, Space Marine Warhammer. Like... I don't care what anybody says. 
Space Marine is like one of the best series that ever existed when it comes to the Warhammer, uh, you know, environment. So I'm extremely happy for Space Marine. Um, that being said, I don't think there's a lot of people who really expected this game to really uh, come out. Um, because of the first one coming out so long ago and you know the updates with the original Warhammer 40k Space Marine wasn't really good um, and then when they try to uh, they try to bring in a console it became a little bit worse um, but I'm happy to see that the fan base held up when it comes to the console version and now we're really gonna get a Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 and now this trailer this trailer looks extremely good. It gives me all the classic feels. It's giving me a little bit of a Deathwing. You guys played that one. Hulk um, Space uh, is called uh, uh, Hulk Space uh, Deathwing. That's a really good other game developed by um, the 40K Studios team. Um, so that being said, to see this game, I, I'm listen, I'm not buying this game. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not buying it. I'm downloading it like a tourist and then i'm going to play it and that's what's going to happen um i do that with all warhammer games because i love them so much i can't pay for the games it's just not going to work for me you know i got to save up in xyz um so realistically there hasn't been really other news when it comes to uh the video game series so hopefully if we get anything in the near future or they update us with anything else we'll be able to you know basically uh, up, make a new video for it and just pretty much extend the series so you know what uh, the next video will most likely be on the update for Halo multiplayer so if I get any more news on that one I'll definitely update you guys completely on what else is to come but other than that that was all for the video game award show for me there wasn't really much else that I was all too interested in we did get the uh, we ended up getting um update for uh destiny 2 i don't really care about that not my thing we end up getting chainsaw massacre that's all right don't really care about that it's going to be a multiplayer game um and then we end up getting the monster hunter update which i thought was pretty pretty cool so hopefully we'll get more news and i will definitely see you guys in the next one